matrix, then ultimately, if you did that same process again, it would lead you right back where you started or where you finished. You see, a lot of people don't realize that not only are they a slave to what we call existence, but they're also a slave to pursuing what we call an identity. They're a slave to clinging on to a persona because they want to be remembered and they want to be loved. But those are illusion-based concepts. People will say that we are all one, you know? And the next time you hear someone say that, just pretend you're homeless and ask that person if they will allow you to sleep on their couch for a week. And I guarantee you they will say no, because, again, they don't even believe the words that are coming out of their own mouths. You see, I used to think spiritual people were so whole and so beautiful, but then I realized they're actually some of the most evil people on what we call this planet. Really think about it from this perspective. The reason we know the government is evil, the reason we know um, people on the dark web are evil is because those people show you who they are. They don't hide behind a mask. They're not living out a facade. They show you exactly who they are. They say, if you treat me this way, if you do these things, This is how I will respond. So it actually makes it easy because they actually live based on the appearance that they've chose to appear as. And they also live based on the words that come out of their mouth. And I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm just saying if they tell you 20 or 30 years that the towers and 9-11 are going to fall and then they fall, that is a group of people that have showed you exactly who they are, who they are. So you always know exactly what you're dealing with. If they put the truth in movies, if they tell you themselves that they're working on population control, then you always know what you're dealing with because their actions match the words that are coming out of their mouths. But with spiritual people, They will look you in the face and call you their family. They'll call you a king. They'll call you a queen. They say that we are all one. But then the minute you need them, they're nowhere to be found. And that's scary to me to experience or acknowledge or observe a group of people who can literally tell you something to your face but then physically show you that they don't even mean what they say. And then on top of that, do it with a smile on their face. See, I don't think people understand how trashy this all is. You know, people say that we live in a prison, that we live in a matrix, but then they go out every day and give all of their energy to the entity that they just claimed was enslaving them. So they're on YouTube saying all of this hot shit. But they don't realize that they're literally fueling the fire they wish to extinguish. People will say that we are the universe experiencing itself, but then claim the things that oppose them are evil, never realizing that along with creating them, the universe created the people that oppose them. So when it comes to existence, for example, Existence shot out a lion and it shot out a gazelle. The lion was created to be a predator. It was created to be a king. And the gazelle was created to be prey. It was created to be weak. So a lot of people have an emotional response to seeing a predator just completely shred prey never realizing that the thing that is eating and the thing that is being eaten were created by the same entity, were created by the same source. So again, people are stuck in an illusion where they are only acknowledged, just like they do on an individual level, all of the quote-unquote good things, but completely acknowledge all the quote-unquote